Well, he said Dayton Merrill dies in two hours and nine minutes. A little wrong there. It's less than that. Well, if he was, he'd have a case history back here. His name would be in it, wouldn't it? Sure. I'm sure the new doctor can get rid of the old records. Well, maybe that's what the guy destroyed, sir. All right, get a hold of that nurse. She can help us more than anybody else. All right. Her name is Ann Jewell. That's sad, isn't it? I remember when she was so upbeat and cheerful. She just used to be so full of life. How, how'd she get in here anyway? I thought you took her key. I did. You'd be surprised at how capable she can be when she's not under arrest. Maybe I should come back later when, you know, she's up and about. Ted, it's been months. How long are you going to let her stay here rent-free? <sighs> You're right. It's time for me to be a man. She's a bit cranky when she first gets up. <sighs> Zoe. Zoe. <sighs> come on, you got to get up, Zoe. Come on, Ted. You're not really gonna do this, right? I mean, we're friends. What have I ever done to you? All right, I see your point. Zoe, this is nothing personal. But if you can't figure out a way to pay for rent for the rest of the semester, you can't keep living here. It's just bad business. Maybe if you took more tests instead of naps, your parents wouldn't have cut you off. Zoe, this is your chance to go out into this world and make something of yourself and be an adult. You just ignite the light and let it shine. Just own the night like the 4th of July. Cause Zoe, you're a firework. Katy Perry said that. Now get the hell out of my apartment complex. It's hopeless, Eddie. I've got nothing left. I'm doomed. Come on, Zoe, it's not that bad. You want a gnarly fry? Life is meaningless. You always stay with me if you like. I don't think I'm quite at that point yet. You'd always get a job. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Eddie, I mean, what am I going to do? It's not like the perfect opportunity is just going to show up out of nowhere. That was great, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. It's a new light bulb. Yeah. What's that? This is it. It's perfect. It's just what we need. You're gonna join the Nerf team? No, read it. If we can get those Nerf blasters back to the Nerf club, I'll have enough money to pay for a whole month's worth of rent. Okay. Ugh, just, come on. Say hello to my little friend. So you really think that we're gonna find all of these? It's perfect, Ed. I mean, the Nerf Club's offering $350 just for someone to return some stupid plastic toys. Whoa, first off, Nerf Blasters are not toys. These are sophisticated replicas that us men use to fill out our fantasies. Besides, this will never work. How hard can it be, Ed? It's not like some criminal mastermind stole them. Stage 
Although my plan is complete, I've stolen all the Nerf Blasters from the Nerf Club. And now, they'll become depressed and quit the club, giving me the chance to start my own and much cooler Nerf Club. <laughs> Please, quit talking to yourself and clean your room. Dinner's in ten. Ma, ah, I am the dastardly deodorizer. And I don't have time for dinner. I am too busy being evil. All right, Mr. Delightful Disinfectant. Be sure to wash your hands before coming downstairs. It's the dastardly deodorizer! I'm a janitor for Christ's sake, Mom. I wash my hands all day. Do you want the regular macaroni or the little SpongeBob? SpongeBob ones, Mom. Everyone knows that they're better. Watch your tone, mister. Or no pudding pop for you tonight. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mom. Boy, this place is more depressing than a Sarah McLaughlin commercial. You know, the one with the dogs. In the arms of an angel, fly away from here. In a dark, cold hotel room, the endlessness that you fear. Now that everyone thinks we're a freak, so, who's in charge here? I am. <laughs> I'm a tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> Uh, I'm Zoe, and this is Eddie. Also known as tall, pale, and average. Hi, I'm Thomas. We're here to help you guys find those Nerf Blasters you're missing. I thought Campus PD stopped looking for them. We're not with Campus PD. We're private investigators. So, uh, do you have any idea who might have taken them? No, not really. That's why we've been putting flyers up all over campus. You're sure that... There isn't anybody that have a grudge against you guys, like, I don't know, maybe another club or an old member? There is one guy that may have taken him, but there's no way I'm going anywhere near that wacko. Trust me, Zoe and I know a few things about wackos. Who is he? Well, his name is Keith, but you probably know him as the creepy janitor with the eye patch. That guy? The janitor stole your blasters? Why would he do that? Well, he didn't always used to be the janitor. He actually used to run this club. In fact... It was really interesting. The nerf dart must have bounced off of four or five walls before coming right back at him. And BAM! Apparently, the injury was so bad, he couldn't study, failed all of his classes, and then had to become a janitor to make a living. Maybe he's trying to get revenge or something. Please, please, you have to help us get our blasters back. You're our only hope. Don't worry, kid. We'll get those blasters back for you. Come on, Eddie. Do you really think they'll be able to help us, Thomas? I hope so. How are we gonna find this guy? Don't worry, Ed. We'll find him. Just stop being such a downer. We're not gonna sit here forever, are we? It could take days. I have a plan. Observe. Slurpee! That 
was the best combination of cherry and coke. You have no idea how long it took me to get that. What the heck are you doing? And what do janitors do? They clean up messes. Stop right there, Keith. I'm sorry, can I help you two out with something? Yes, you can, actually. You can tell us what you did with the Nerf Club blasters. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. We know you got them, so why don't you just turn them over to us, forget this whole thing ever happened. You two? You have no idea who you're messing with. Look, we came here to negotiate, but if we need to, we can get tough. I don't know who you think you are, but nobody, I mean nobody, crosses with the dastardly deodorizer. Who? <laughs> Look, I'm not giving back those nerf blasters. And in fact, I just added the next step to my evil plan. Yeah? Oh yeah? What might that be? Kidnapping. <laughs> now that I've forcefully brought you back here, let me tell you all about my evil plan. Oh. A while back, I was actually the president of the Nerf Club, believe it or not. During one fateful battle, however, that all changed. I was wounded, badly wounded. Now, the one thing keeping me going is knowing that I will avenge myself and destroy them! <laughs> what? How dare you! Hey! Do you and your friends want some cookies? Mom, they're not my friends. They're just big stupid jerks. Do not make me come up there, mister. But Mom, they're making fun of my evil plan! Do you want me to take away your play box? It, it's not called a, you know what, you know what, fine, fine. Just bring up the cookies, that's fine. Do you want chocolate chip or raisin? Do you, do you guys want chocolate chip or raisin cookies? I, I no? Okay, okay, fine. Either is fine. Okay, well, I always take a nap after my snacks, so I'll be back in an hour. You guys just stay here and don't escape. Okay. Oh, and don't think about escaping or stealing their flasters that are in the closet, okay? Be right back. What, what are we gonna do? Just let me think. Zoe! Give me your credit card. Now's not the time for online shopping, Zoe. How would I even... Just give it to me. It's in my pocket. Online shopping. Hurry up and untie me. What did I skip gym class? We did it. We actually did it. It's time for a payday, Zoe. Zoe, you're so amazing. We're perfect together. Did you go out with me? Of course. Zoe. 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 What happens? Well, you walked into the room, I said hi, and you kind of just fainted. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> you were making out with the floor. I'm pretty sure I saw some tongue. <laughs> hey Thomas, we're missing a blaster. Which one? What? No, they're all there. <laughs> Is I the dastardly deodorizer? Keith, five more minutes, sweetie, then it's off to bed. Fine! As I was saying, I challenge all of you to a nerf duel. If I win, 
All of you will become my janitor slaves. But if you win, I will give you back your precious Busta Blaster. We'll meet tomorrow. He's right, you know. That blaster's unlike any other blaster there is. It's just... We were so close, Ed. I mean... I was almost home free. The money, the guy, and... I was actually starting to have a lot of fun. Alright then. Let's gear up. I battled a few times in my past. Together we can take him down. You think so? We got this. Wait, what did you mean by gear up? Well, well, you actually came. I'm surprised you showed up. Seems everyone else has abandoned you. Your reign of terror ends here. Do you have any idea who you're messing with? Do you know who I am? I am! Excuse me for just one moment. Hello? Yes? Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, how are you? I know it's late, I'm sorry. I, I'll take it out when I get home, okay? All right, okay, bye, love you, bye. I'm sorry, but we'll have to skip the theatrics. It's sudden death, one hit and you're done. The stake's been set. You sure you wanna go through with this? Okay, so, you gotta keep fighting, can't let him win. <sighs> oh, wow, the mighty have fallen. Any last words? Thomas, you came back to rescue me. Well, someone had to come and take out the trash. Hey, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> well, um, I was actually wondering something. Would you like to go out sometime? Eddie, is this really happening? Um, yeah, sure, that'd be great. We're really glad we could help you guys find your Nerf guns. N Nerf guns? Yeah, so what time are you gonna pick me up? Actually, they're blasters. Look, I don't know if this is gonna work out. I'm sorry. Hey, buddy. Want to go to Gnarly Burger? Want to go to GameStop?
You want to watch bad detective movies? Well, Zoe, I'm definitely glad to have you back. I'm sure glad to be back, and I'm sure Abigail's really missed me. I actually haven't told her yet. I figured you could be the one to do that. Um, you don't live here anymore. Actually... I solve crimes because I'm broke I have a best friend named Maddie and a roommate who thinks that I'm a joke Tomorrow the rent is due So I'll solve a mystery for you Apartment 122 Apartment 122 That's where I live, I'm a detective for Apartment 122 Lester's back, I screwed the line up. <laughs> I, I'm uh, tall, tall, dark, and uh, handsome. <laughs> You're supposed to nudge me. <laughs> Not everyone thinks we're a freak. Cut. <laughs> You're just like, <laughs> Well, brush off that awkwardness right there. Just get it off, it's sticky. All right, cut. <laughs> <laughs> also known as tall, pale, and average, and I'm looking at the wrong spot. There we go. Why, of course. Do you want me to be like really dramatic about yeah. it? Yeah. Please don't let me take Okay. <laughs> Let's mop the floor with them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is this how Navy Seals feel? Besides, this will never work. 